Hi there, this is Amy. Thanks for stopping by. Tonight I'm just going to show you a couple trays um, that I'm... One is actually complete. The other one is needs to be varnished and then handles put on it. This one that I'm, I have right here in front of me is actually one that I drew with paint pens. I don't know if you can see it very well. I'm trying to... And I actually have this listed for sale in one of my shops. And all this was hand drawn by me. I've had people ask me, now can you put the vinyl on another color? And this is the type of hang uh, handles that will be going on the next one. This one, like I said, was actually hand painted with paint markers. And then varnished with uh, a decoupage varnish. I was just giving it a try to see how, how well it worked. And hopefully you can see this. Again, it's kind of hard with my video camera to get all of it into play here. I'm sorry, I'm so bad with trying to figure out which way I need to move things when I'm on here. Anyway, so that's a look at that one. The next one I'm going to show you is actually one I painted with a brush. and This one is the one that needs just to needs to be finished and with the uh, varnish and then the handles. Don't actually have to varnish it, but I feel like that just gives it some extra protection. And then once again, these are decorative trays that just kind of give you a, a good view of it here. You'll see a picture, a full picture of it when I list the video. But I'll put black handles on either end here and then I'll have little tabs on the back for for the feet. But all this was painted by brush. I was kind of just testing it out because I like to do uh, the doodlings and zentangly kind of uh, drawings. Do a combo. Add a lot of different um, I don't know techniques, designs, that type of thing. Not anything one one specific way of doing it. Um, there's so many varieties of the way people do this type of work. Some are really, really detailed. Some actually fill the details into actual shapes that they they buy or uh, make copies of or whatnot. And I just kind of wing it. Basically when you're doing something like this, you can uh, if you want, if you're not just going to sit down and just do it as your as it comes, you can actually sit down and do a design, draw a design, and then make it as close as possible to that design once you're ready to put it on your actual piece. The next one that I'm going to do is actually a blue. A very pretty blue. And I think the black touch will be very nice. But this is the next one that I'm going to do it on. You can see it. Kind of doesn't look. Oh, there it is. Sorry about that. Anyways, the next one is going to be done on this piece. And I think I'm going to go back to doing the paintbrush. Or not the paintbrush, the uh, paint pens. I'm not sure what that is. Anyways, go back to do the paint pens and just do in the center here. And then put the black handles, kind of like I did the orange one. But these all will be one of a kind because they are just things that I draw either as it comes along or I will draw a design and try to mimic that as much as possible. But it's not vinyl. It's not anything that, that can easily be re reproduced. It's my own version, my own uh, painting. So anyways, I will do a video starting on this one here soon. Just wanted to show you a few of the other ones that I have. And I do have some stained wood, so I'm going to try some different things on it too. See how that comes out. But let me know if you have any questions, suggestions, any ideas you want me to try. I'm up for any suggestions that you might have. Please follow or subscribe to my channel. Share it. Ask others to subscribe. I would appreciate it. And again, thanks for stopping by and have a good evening.